even now, says the Lord. We hear these words at the very beginning of Joel's prophecy, even now. St. Paul repeats this urgency. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. What is it that this day, this now, presents to us? Two things, it seems to me. That there is no time to waste, and secondly, that it's never too late. Joel and Paul were both writing at times of confusion and with a concern that their hearers repent and so conform themselves to God's holy will. We are all great at procrastinating, at putting off till tomorrow what we really should do today. Yet if we are really aware of the choice we face, we will waste no time in turning to the Lord. For we face every day the God who spared nothing to love us and to save us. How can accepting or rejecting him even be a real choice? Accepting him means we have everything to win. Rejecting him means we have everything to lose. So seize the day. Yet if we have failed to grasp this moment for a few days or a few months or even for many years, it is never too late until it is too late. Let us repent of all those missed opportunities and act now, even now. Joel calls upon elders, the children, even the infants, the bridegrooms and the brides, the priests, no matter what may have taken place in the past, to act now. Jesus tells us in the gospel what to do, which is basically to imitate his own love. But first, we must grab the moment, this day, this now, even now. My sisters and brothers, as these ashes are placed on us, may our pride and self-contentment collapse like ashes. And may there arise in that place hearts truly rent with the surpassing love of God and of neighbor. May we decrease and may God increase even now. God bless you all.